to see who goes first, once again, for the love of all things black man -y, I guess. Uh, Scissors. There we go. Um, nom 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 nom. Um, nom nom nom! For the love of all things dead? Absolutely. For the love of all things Rochambeau. There we go. Yeah, I can keep this. I'll keep it. Alright. Let's get you started with a line into sphere, and I'll pass the turn. Oh, maybe we should cut the volume down right now. Okay. You finish, after you finish your turn. Yeah. You, you Actually, I'll get it. I'll get a mount. Is it a touch screen? No, it is. Okay, there we go. Mountain. Ah, this deck. Oh, by the way, so this is the mystery deck that I, uh, I put out. Most of you figured out at least a bit about it. It's a... Uh, yeah, that's right, it's seven. It is a mono black Tron deck, but there's a little bit more to it than that, and I hope that you get to see it. Uh, probably doesn't matter for this game. It's probably not going to go very well for me. Pass turn. All right. Black? Mm -hmm. I'll set it over here. Draw a card. Hmm. Pay the black. Do it again. Black floating. No. Pass turn. Like a taxi crew. Derp, derp, derp. All right, so now you get to see a little bit of what's going on. So I have a Curse of Thirst in my hand. The beginning of your, well, enchanted players, but your upkeep. You're going to take damage equal to the number of curses I control. I have the mana to get there, but maybe not the time to get there. Draw a card. Mm -hmm. I know the good card. OK. Draw a card. I'm going to try to set these out such that See what I'm up to. I'll fetch. All right. There we go. So storm is three, or is about to be three. Storm is two. And I'll play a storm entity. Yep. Give it two counts. Which one? Pick. Ah, here we are. Point. Swing for three. Ouch. Throw me to 17. Pass turn. Alright, come on, natural tron. Natural tron. <gasps> no. <laughs> mm. Pass turn. And yeah. Yeah. Draw. This is how we do. Fourteen all. Urbrusk. Yep. Into. Mr. Superior. Ooh. Go ahead. Yeah. Not looking good. Hmm. I'll play a Knight of Souls Betrayal. All creatures get minus one, minus one, so Priest is dead, and they're smaller, but not small enough. Um, and then I'll pass the turn. This is uh, one of the tech cards I was looking for. Play two, probe you. The new card is mine. I got the wrong Tron land. Bummer. Yeah, that'll oh. happen. Air Mesa. Mm hmm. I'm doing more damage to myself than I am to you. Not for long. Here we 
pretty good. Oh yeah. Play ritual. Mm-hmm. The mono rug storm deck going off. Storm entity. Alright, so what was it? Probe, yeah. There we go. Two and then storm entity. Jeez. Three, four, five, six, seven, mm -hmm. eleven. Yeah, put me to three. All right, what gets me out of here, Ugin? Your turn. Now, as you can see, Ugin doesn't get me out of this because I also I only get one draw this turn, and it's either the lands to be able to cast Ugin or Ugin himself. But not both. So we're just gonna pack it in. That was a deck, that was a thing. Got any damnations lying around? Uh, sadly, no. Uh, nor will I be able to afford them for a while, I imagine. Alright, and on to game two. Okay, all you missed was I kept, he kept, swamp, his draw, wooded foothills. That's all you've missed. So, not really anything. Alright, now go for it. Did you pass turn? Not yet. Alright. I believe we're going to put on the pressure right away. Land, land, land. Prism. Curse of Thirst. Diabolic Revelation. The curve's pretty high in this hand, to be sure. Draw. Mm hmm. Nothing. Mm -hmm. Simeon Spirit Bed. Yep, Storm Entity, right? Burning Tree Emissary. Burning Tree, okay. Keep it going. Burning Tree Emissary. Keep it going. Manamorphose. Red Red. Yep. Goblin Bushwhacker with Kicker. Okay. One, two, All right. Nine. No Entity then. Ten. Or eight, sorry. <laughs> I was about eight to eight say. Eight. Yeah. Dear God, why? Your turn. Is that all? <laughs> Prison, draw a card. Warm, warm, pass turn. Another bushwhacker. That's ten. That's, that's pretty fast, I hear. Alright, that's turn? Yep. Okay. Three mana gets me out of this spot. Probably actual nothing. Prison? <laughs> nope. That just, no, did not do it. That's one of the better draws of this deck, if you couldn't tell. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking, so if I had drawn into my dismembers, that wouldn't really get me out of this anyway. So um, you have to pay four life. Mm. Do you mind if we play a, another one just... That was really quick. We can get another one in? Sure. Alright. Let's see. Sideboard out. Uh, do you mind if we try one more with sideboard in? Sure. I actually don't know. Did we see either of our sideboard cards? No? Okay. There we go then. Let's just keep it up. And phone call. And stab. I'll s see you in a sec. These hands, they just keep getting better. No. Um, still, I don't think it's better than six. I'm gonna have to work with some of the curve issues with this deck. It's a Tron deck, so that's expected to a certain extent, but this is too much. Uh, but I'll keep. I'm gonna mulligan. Alright. Hmm, well in the meantime, let me show you all what I have going on. A ding. Alright. So, that's not much of a base. Let me sort a little bit. Um, this is an interesting card, I think, for this particular match. It doesn't stop much. I'm hoping that it stops one thing in particular, though. Um, obviously, consistency. And then you guys. Which are going to be too slow, invariably. 
Alright, ready when you are, man. But you'd have to sacrifice it anyway to get rid of it. Hmm. One? Nineteen. Prism? Mm hmm. Pass turn? How are we doing this? Jeez. Well, hmm. uh, remove the counter, swing two, seventeen. All right, pass turn. Purpose mod. Yeah, that works then. I'm not at 13 out of nowhere. I'm oh, sorry. Hex parasite aggro. Try number three. Uh, Go ahead. Well, so that. Absorb. That one looks dull. We'll take that one. Swing two. Fifteen. Pass turn. Yeah. Schwip. Smash the smithereens. Yep. And I'll take three. Sorry. Your turn. Wow. Oh my goodness. Hmm. Actually, cards in hand? Three. Hmm. Prison? Mm -hmm. oh, lands. Last turn. I swear, I have 23 in this deck. Wait a minute, how many cards in my hand right now? I'll yeah, you. Oh, well, Just first let me discard something. Uh, sorry, give me just a sec. I don't think I'm ever actually getting to you. So, we'll drop Diabolic Revelation and then Chromatic Sphere, Prophetic Prism, Knight of Souls Betrayal, Curse of Misfortune, Curse of Death's Hold, and two Diabolic Revelations. Damn. Just not getting the lands. These were in my opener, of course, and I just haven't been able to draw out of him. Yeah. Okay, spirit guy. Mm -hmm. Priest. Priest. And there you go. 
Let's see this very good. <sighs> five, six, five. Not looking good. Man? Which one? Land. Not land. Not anything I can do with just two mana anyway. That's something. Play a sphere. And then I'll pass the turn. Do you mind if I pick up? Sure. Just running out of room. So, plant and mine. And I believe the technical term is a crap ton of these. Swing for four. I'm afraid I have to take it. Pass turn. Alright. Pop it for black? Mm -hmm. Um, that is a very bad card right now. <laughs> well... Filter it into black. Knight of Souls Betrayal. I'll kill the priest and drop the guy to one. And then I'll pass the turn. End of turn, mm -hmm. maybe for seven. Yep. Yeah. I know where this goes. And then you might as well just immediately do it again. Oh, you're at six, yeah. yes. I'm at six, yes. That's game. Just. The curve is too high in this deck, it seems. Yeah. yeah. And I'm not entirely sure what I should do. Let me, let me deck tech this a little bit. Is there much glare to keep me from doing that? Alright, so you and I have already talked about how Ensnaring Bridge might be a bad card right now if for this is Cyborg. If for no other reason, uh, because Kuligon's Command is actually pretty heavily played nowadays. That being said, if it does actually stick, and if I can dump cards out of my hand quickly enough, it seems like, it, like it'd be a little bit good, just a bit. But maybe there are better cards that I can have in that slot, more removal spells, more... I have another Knight of Souls Betrayal, um, more ways to filter through. We already talked about how I don't have the talismans that I would like to go in this deck to help me to ramp. Um, that would certainly be alright. So, let's see. The way that the deck tries to win, primarily, it's not beating with Platinum Angel, it's not beating with Ulamog. It's by sticking a Curse of Thirst, I have four, and I have a one of of each of the other black curses. So. Curse of Oblivion, uh, Malediction de l'Oubli, I believe. Uh, Pardon moi, that's not correct. Another Curse of Thirst running around in here. Let's see. Knight of Souls Betrayal is an honorary Curse of Death's Hold because I don't run creatures sans Platinum Angel. Uh, here we are. Curse of Death's Hold and Curse of Misfortune. Misfortune goes and gets another enchantment and attaches it to you, as long as it's an enchantment that isn't already attached to you. So if Misfortune comes out, stick Thirst, or stick one of the situational ones. Oblivion's certainly the worst, but it is a fourth uh, curse to put on, and it also hits graveyards, which is actually relevant these days. All the Gurmogs and Tassigers and Snapcasters running around. Um, the way that it stalls, it has Curse of Death's Hold, Knight of Souls Betrayal, and the aforementioned Ensnaring Bridge, along with a small handful of kill spells and Thoughtseize. And if Ensnaring Bridge works, then I don't have to attack, but I can still defeat the opponent, while decks that rely on attacking uh, 
can't beat me. But of course, Colagon's Command, Burn, Combo Decks, Ensnaring Bridge doesn't do very much. I don't know. What do you think? I think your deck's too expensive to run Ensnaring Bridge. I think that that's true. Ideally, if I get Tron on, then I can actually start dumping my hand, but until then, a lot of them will just sit there. I could lose the curse engine, but then I need another way of killing them that doesn't involve attacking at any point. And yes, Karn and Ugin work, um, but if that's all that I have going for me, I'm not sure if that's enough. And I only own two Karns and one Ugin anyway. Yeah, could probably drop in Staring Bridge for Dismembers. Go for the throat, maybe. I do have another Knight of Souls Betrayal, and they do stack, sort of. They're legendary, but all state-based actions check at the same time, so the game will check that two legendaries of the same name exist and give minus two minus two. So when it checks the state-based action to see if they have zero toughness or less, it's at the same time it checks legendaries. It has only come up once, I think, um, when I was playing it, but... It's kind of cool when it does happen. Um, and yeah, that's that's basically what the deck is doing in a shell map. And I will try again some other time. As if I, I'll work on the deck a bit, tweak it, and go from there. Eh, let's just get rid of you while I'm at it. Alright, see you later.